case that it is not always easy to forgive someone, but a new book gives an eye-opening perspective from people who learned ways to forgive things that truly seem unforgivable. Please welcome author of The Gift of Forgiveness and my friend, Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt. <laughs> Schwarzenegger Pratt. Yeah, I know. Um, so we've been good. friends a long time. I've I known know. you for forever since you were very young. I'm so proud of you. This book Thank is you. wonderful. It is. I want to talk about the book, but we have to talk about the fact you got married. I did get married. Yes, I did. amazing. <laughs> well, how's newlywed life? Oh, it's mm -hmm. so nice. I love it Look so how much. beautiful you guys oh, are. Thank oh, you. Yes. Yeah, it's the best. I mean, as you know, being married to somebody that you can have similar values with and mm. that you just have just the most amazing love is the greatest gift you can give yourself so mm. wonderful it very is. yeah oh. it is. congratulations yeah. thank you well, i learned that you met your husband in church i did yeah we did. i met my husband in the catholic church <laughs> too <laughs> who knew that you could like so find the guy in church i know but it's actually if you think about it it's it's such a great place to meet someone because you, right? know, you have similar values and beliefs, and it's you know that's a big it cuts, part of it. It's such a big part. Thinking about Jesus at but, church, but, you know, but, well, but, like, but like, it cuts to the chase. Like you at least I know. know at a baseline. It's a big part. Yeah. My mom always said that to me growing up. She was like, values, values, values. Like yeah. they're so important in a relationship. I know. So My mom sent me to the church to find a guy, and I was like, I'm not gonna find that's a guy in the church. <laughs> A great fix. I like totally your And now there. we have praise hands. About that, right? <laughs> right? Like we're praise hands about that. That is so good. Amazing. You know, this it's so emotional, I think, to talk about like finding love and forgiveness, which we want to get to your book. But I know you had an emotional moment. You posted a photo of your dad after he reprised his role oh, of yeah. the Terminator. I like well, to explain the feeling to well, everybody. Because it was funny that. when I grew up in the first couple of Terminators came out, I was so young, so I couldn't, it was not age appropriate mm -hmm. for me to watch. Okay. So now that I am an adult, <laughs> it's an intense movie for a child. So now that I'm an adult, I can also appreciate, you know, you appreciate your parents on a different level and all yeah. their hard work and also what they're passionate about. So I think yeah. it makes it that much more special. And I also went with my husband, which made it um, really special as well. To so. share oh, that for cool. sure. I know, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm diving into your book. Okay. And I love it. Thank I'm you. I'm like dog earring, highlighting. I know, I see you've made and so many notes. I really have, so and I take happy. notes in the back of books that I read, and I've, I have so many already, and what I yeah. love about it is you interview 22 stories of people, yes. and you tell their stories about forgiveness, and it makes it possible through their stories to say, forgiveness is possible. Yeah. Why do you want to tell the stories of forgiveness? Why was it important for you to say it's actually empowering to forgive? Yeah, and these stories are all so inspiring, as you're saying. It's every single story is very different, totally and how different. they've practiced and struggled with forgiveness is really different and unique, which was really important to me with getting that group of 22 people yeah. so someone can pick up the book and feel like they could relate to someone's story in the book. And I was just struggling with forgiveness in my own life, and I found the most inspiration and the most help from talking to other people about their journeys, whether they've had journeys like the ones in the book or just conversations over dinner tables that I really found huge impact from taking their nuggets of wisdom with what they've learned and applying it to my own life. So I wanted to create that in a book form because forgiveness is one of those topics that none of us will ever be spared from coming face to face with. That's right. It's all about how we can be prepared and have the tools to be open to it. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Wow. And it's moving. Yeah, you said that writing this book was very emotional. Some yes. of the stories in the book are really intense. Really intense. Especially the one about the drunk driver killing Chris, the... Yeah, yes. Chris Williams. Um, I can't imagine interviewing people like this. How did it affect you? Well, you know, you never know what's going to happen when you're asking a total stranger to open up about their forgiveness journey because it's not, you know, the most uh, beautiful or glamorous topic to talk about, but it's such an important one. And every single person that's in this book wanted to be a part of it because mm. they wanted to help others in their forgiveness journey and inspire other people to practice forgiveness in their lives because you can see in their stories that the theme of forgiveness has been such a sense, given these people such a sense of freedom yeah. mm -hmm. and um, has been at the end of the day, a gift that you give yourself, which through interviewing these people, was a real lesson for me because I think we all, or at least I grew up thinking that you needed to wait for someone to ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. before you can begin your forgiveness journey. That's right. And what I learned from this book is that it's actually a gift that you give yourself and you don't have to wait for anyone or oh, yeah. any specific time to start to start that and to take your power back in a situation. Yeah, forgiveness is about yourself. It's totally. not necessarily about the other person. Yes. And I, I think that really comes across with uh, the woman yeah. who was in the Charleston church. When, oh yes, Paulie Shepard. Yeah, yeah, when Dylan Roof looks right at her. Yeah. 
but doesn't shoot her. Yeah, and every single person in this book, also Polly Shepard included, has had different ways of processing and handling forgiveness. Some, it's a one and done situation. Others, mm -hmm. it's an ongoing journey and an ongoing process. And some in this book are still struggling with forgiveness. Yeah. So I think it also shows you that there's no time limit on forgiveness because when people say to us, hurry up and forgive someone, it's mm -hmm. such a frustrating thing to hear because oh. there are people who, you know, like Chris Williams, forgive in an instant, and then somebody like Deborah Kopakin's taken 30 years, and other people who are still struggling. Sometimes you just need to know that it can be done. And I think totally. one of the most powerful things in this book, um, one is that people, it was a decision. Like the people you interviewed, Elizabeth Smart, Chris Williams, Sarah Klein, they decided at some point that they were going to give themselves the gift of forgiveness to offer to somebody else, to mm -hmm. give themselves this freedom. And then also just the example of if they can forgive, so can I. So can I. It's and beautiful. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Christ-like, love it. Your mom, Maria Shriver, helped you? Yeah. Well, she's it. just such an amazing sounding board, really, for everything in yeah. life in general. I mean, she's such an inspiration she's a sage, to me. Right? She is. She is. And she's like a well of wisdom, which I, as she's I get such older. She's a kind woman. Yeah, she's yeah. the best. So when I finished my book and I had her read it, it was such a nerve-wracking experience. I can imagine. Like, she must be so like it, but she really loved it. And, you know, forgiveness has been such a big part of all of our lives. And, yeah. um, and I think when you're able to have that, as a part of your life, you know how important it is to kind of spread that message. Yeah, well wonderful. Done. She's also a huge supporter of other women. Our yes. thanks to Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt. Her new book, The Gift of Forgiveness, is out now.